This is going to be a very simple and beginner friendly tutorial on how you can create this image reveal using the fusion composition in DaVinci Resolve. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve. Let's go ahead and create our timeline. Right click and go ahead, create a new timeline and just go ahead with the default settings. Now let's go over at effects and then go ahead and drag in this fusion composition and right click and open in fusion page. Go ahead and add in a background, connect this with the media out. Let's go ahead and add in the city image and also the market image. And let's go ahead, connect this with the background. Let's connect both of them like this. Now what we need to do is we need to reveal this. And also let's, let's also go ahead and add in this image of this man. And for this one in the merge, I'm just going to go ahead and decrease the size to let's say 0 0.7 and move this right here. Actually, let's go with 0 0.6. All right, so right now I'm just going to unselect this because the main thing that we're gonna work on is the background animation. So how to reveal an image within an image or how to do a nice transition for this image reveal. So the way that we can do that is by, first of all, there are two ways to do that. The first is to simply use a masking. So for this one, I'm using an ellipse. You can of course use this rectangle mask as well, or you can also use the polygon mask, but just let's, let's just see this with the ellipse. So go ahead and connect the ellipse with the second image, the image that we have on top of that image. So there is an image below it and an image above it. So the one that's above it, we need to add this mask on top of it. All right, so now let's go ahead and see where we want this animation to appear. So for example, let's say at 60, we want this to appear. So let's just go ahead and increase the width and the height for this ellipse and go ahead and create these keyframes and now let's go ahead and let's say 40 and then go ahead and change them to zero. So now if we play this and actually let's just bring in this person in. Let's bring this in. So this is how it's going to look. And one more thing we need to do is to make it more appealing. We can also go ahead and increase the soft edge, something like this, so that this looks nice when this is animating in so something like this. And by the way, let's go ahead and animate the person as well. So let's go all the way to the end, create this keyframe at center all the way to the end. And then let's go over at zero. And then let's move this Y down. So something like this. And this is how it's going to look. All right, perfect. Now, in order to add some more dynamic look to it, to the image reveal in the background, you can go over to spline and select the ellipse from the, make sure both width and the height are selected and then click on zoom to all fit. Select your keyframes and hit S on the keyboard. Select all keyframes, hit S on the keyboard and that's it. And if you play this, now you will see we have a nice animation for this text reveal. Now this was the first way to do it by using the default mask that we have. Second way to do that is by using a texture. So right now, as you can see, I have this texture image. Let me just bring this in. And this is the texture image. So as you can see, it has some rough edges. So we can use this as a mask as well. So the way that we can do that is, let, let me just first of all, unselect this ellipse, move this to the side, and let's bring this texture in. And also while you have this selected, click on this transform, and then let's, let's go ahead and connect this with the media in two. So the same thing that we did before with the ellipse mask, we're doing it with the texture that we have, but also by using the transform node. So right now, as you can see, we don't see anything, but if you go over to the transform and increase the size, now you will notice that we have these rough edges right here. So this is also one way to do that. And of course, we're gonna do it the same way. Let me just unselect this. All right, so let's go over at, let's say 60, and in the transform, let's go ahead and Create a keyframe at size and move this all the way to fill the whole screen. Make sure the whole screen is visible, the second screen basically, or the second image. And now let's go over at 40 and move this at zero. So if we play this now, you will see we have a nice looking animation with this as well. Now, if you, if you go over to the spline, just like the same thing we did with the ellipse, we can of course go ahead and ease this in. So this will add a more nice look to the animation. So if you play this, here you can see this is how it looks. 
So this was it for this video. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one.